In this video, we're gonna be making this platform bed for our transit camper van conversion. Let's get started. We wanted to be sure that our bikes would fit in the space below the bed when it's installed. So we measured the top of my seat on the bike to see how much space our bikes needed. With that measurement, we measured and marked where all of our brackets needed to go. Then we started cutting. We're using Unistrut for this build because it seemed easier to work with than 8020 when building a simple platform like we are, and it'll look better and be stronger than wood, and we haven't used it in this build, so we thought it would be fun to show something new. We cut our Unistrut using an angle grinder and then tried it with a reciprocating saw, which ended up being faster, and then used a file to clean up the edges. We had to make some additional cuts in the Unistrut for clearance and we're ready to test fit our middle supports with the front and back rails. Next, we laid out our frame and started to make our gusset plates to connect the middles to the ends. We're using 16 gauge steel for these plates. We used a bandsaw to cut everything to size and a file to clean up the edges. Each gusset plate needed four holes, so we're gonna use our drill press for this. Next, we sprayed our Unistrut and gusset plates with some matte black spray paint. After two coats on all sides, we were ready to connect the plates to the Unistrut. To connect the Unistrut to the gusset plates, we're using bolts, lock washers, washers, and spring nuts. We inserted our spring nuts into the Unistrut by pushing it down, twisting it, and moving it into place to line up with the gusset plate holes. And then we added our bolts, lock washers, and washers, and screwed them into the spring nut. And then repeated this process five more times. Everything will get tightened down fully once it's all assembled in the van. Next, we mounted our L brackets that will hold up the Unistrut to the L track on the wall of the van using our L track hardware and tighten these down all the way in four places. And then we placed our front Unistrut on the brackets and then moved to the back of the van and rotated the Unistrut into place. We moved our middle strut into the van, slid a spring nut into the underside of the back strut, and then used a bolt lock washer, and washer to secure it to the spring nut. And repeated that on the other side as well. Again, these will all get tightened fully once everything is installed. We attached the bolts at the back of the middle strut and then repeated this process with the left and right struts as things got progressively tighter in the van. And now our Unistrut base is complete. To prevent our pillows from falling into the abyss between the doors and the bed, we are adding a headboard. It will be supported by two large L brackets, which we secured to the Unistrut with bolts. The headboard will be made of one inch square tubing, which we cut to size with our reciprocating saw. Next, we made more gusset plates out of the 16 gauge metal so we could attach to the tubing without any welding. We squared up our corners and marked for our holes. We made some pilot holes and then moved over to the drill press to create our larger holes in both the plates and the square tubing. Before the final install in the van, we're going to spray paint everything matte black to match the modern industrial design in the van. Next, we're making the wooden part of the headboard using two pieces of half inch birch plywood to make a sturdy one inch thick headboard with the pretty sides of the plywood facing out since both sides would be visible. We cut them to size, added some wood glue, spread it around, removed the excess glue, and clamped it together overnight. The next morning, we unclamped our death trap of a glue up and routed the edges. We purposefully oversized one of the planks so that we could use a flush trim bit in our router and get the cleanest edge. We laid all of our headboard pieces out on the table to see where our threaded inserts needed to go, and then we drilled our pilot holes, and then with a tape marker for depth, 
added our larger holes. We added some super glue and then put our threaded inserts into place and repeated this process on both sides of the headboard to make sure it would be secure. To finish the headboard, we sanded with 120 grit sandpaper and finished with paste wax. While the paste wax dried, we did our final assembly of the square tubing for the headboard. We attached two gusset plates in each corner and secured those with bolts, washers, and nuts. Next, we attached the square tubing to the L-brackets that would secure the headboard to the unistrut in the van. We also used bolts, washers, and nuts here. With the birch piece dried and buffed, we set it into place in the square tubing. Now that we know everything fits and lines up, we're going to go back and back out all of our bolts and add some Loctite and tighten everything down. With everything assembled, it was time to finally install the headboard in the van. We put our headboard into place and using spring nuts and bolts, secured the headboard to the bed frame. Next, it was time to install our bed slats. We got these from Amazon and they just come in two sets. We unfolded them and then decided we'd like to fasten them to the middle strut to prevent any sliding around while we're driving the van. With the slats clamped into place, we drilled a hole through the bottom of the center of the slat, added a T-nut to the top of the slat, and used a long bolt to pull it into the slat and down into place, and then replaced that bolt with a shorter one. We did this multiple times down the center of a handful of the slats until we felt it was secure enough to not slide around. With our slats in place, it was time to move on to our side shelves. We're adding side shelves on each side of the van that will lay flush against the bottom of the Unistrut bed frame. These shelves will give us a place to put down our phones and water bottles and will prevent anything from falling under the bed on either side. We're using quarter inch birch for this. We cut sanded and paste wax our side shelves. And to support the shelves, we're gonna be using five inch long flat brackets with spring nuts and bolts to secure it to the Unistrut. Then we moved our shelves into place. And secured it to the brackets with bolts. And finally, it was time to install our mattress. We ordered our mattress from Tachta. It arrives in a compact box with the mattress rolled up inside. The mattress is lightweight and was pretty easy to bring into the van with just one person. We started cutting the plastic with scissors and rolled it out into place. Once we cut a hole and released the vacuum seal, the mattress started to inflate pretty much instantly. We removed all the plastic and let the mattress fully inflate overnight. While this finishes fluffing, here are some details about this mattress. This is a six inch thick, three layer, full size Utopia mattress from Tachta. Tachta mattresses can be completely customized, not only the thickness and size of the mattress, but you can also add custom notches, cuts, and angles right in their online mattress builder. They also make hinge mattresses for those of you who want some kind of fold up or adjustable bed. Special thanks to Tachta for sponsoring this video and now back to the build. And just like that, we are all wrapped up with this project. We are super happy with how it turned out. We have a ton of space below the bed to fit our mountain bikes as well as easy access to our upper cabinets and light switches in the rear of the van. Having the cross breeze from our Arctic turn windows will be great in the summer and we are so happy to be wrapping up this transit build. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.